Hey, well, a fun and quick question today on a Friday. If you have questions, questions at lighthousebaptist.net, and we'd love to answer them. Uh, but today the question uh, is, how did the Psalms uh, come to be the Psalms? How was that book compiled? And, you know, there's a lot of mystery to that because this wasn't one cohesive story that was put together. Rather, the Psalms have all the makings of a hymnal that was put together over a long period of time by the priesthood of Israel. When we look at the Psalms, we have this, you know, if you look at the songs of any era, if you look at the, you know, uh, Motown and protest songs from the 70s, you go, oh, more than reading a history book, I think I understand the people of the time by listening to the music of the time. If, if you hear like the, the folk music from uh, the early parts of our country, you go, oh, this not this doesn't just give me insight into, you know, this was the Boston Tea Party or whatever, but rather just gives you a feel of the culture and what the people were like. And that's what you have in the Psalms. There are Psalms that are very early, Psalms that are almost certainly pre-David. In fact, Psalms that that began with Moses. And then you have all the way to Psalms that are post-exilic. So that means after the people have come back from Babylon. When Jesus has the Psalms in his hand, this was most likely the Greek translation of the Psalms. And that was started somewhere uh, before the year 200 BC. So a couple of years, a couple hundred years before Jesus and was part of the rich tradition of the second temple period. So um, in the that silent period in those 400 years after the Old Testament concludes and, and awaiting Christ, and uh, you think about that, that in the time when they are awaiting a Messiah, one of the things that they're doing is not only reading their rich history, but singing their rich history. Man, I would encourage you to dive into not only the individual Psalms, but the structure of the Psalms. There, it's, it's compiled in five books. It's, there's uh, songs of lament, and there's psalms of instruction, and there's didactic psalms. And, and, and some of my favorite, the Psalms of Ascent, that, that 15, that, that little section of 15 psalms that was, there were 15 stairs leading up uh, to the temple. And so these were like the holiday songs that as they sang these, they imagined the ascent up, uh, not only up to Jerusalem from their hometown as they were traveling from all over, but really that ascent up to the temple to worship. So just like when we look at our hymn book and we go, oh, this has, some of these have the flavor of Martin Luther wrote some of these and, and Fanny Crosby wrote some of these and, and the Wesley brothers wrote some of these. And then, you know, as we continue to compile, you go, Chris Tomlin wrote some of these and Matt Redman wrote some of these. And it gives us a feel for how people over a big chunk of time worshiped, lamented, questioned, and poured out their hearts to God. So the stale answer is the book of Psalms was compiled over hundreds of years uh, and was found in its final form a couple hundred years before Jesus. But the better answer is the Psalms are the rich, breathing culture of the people of the Old Testament. When we read the Psalms, we don't just see what happened, but we see how people felt. And so as you read the Psalms today, now, why don't you why don't you read Psalm 150 today? In fact, let's take a look at Psalm 150 and say this is the last of the Psalms. And this is how, as these priests are compiling the Psalms, they want to leave us. Praise the Lord. Man, what an encouragement after Psalms of lament and Psalms of confession and Psalms of forgiveness and 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 Psalms of of royal psalms that proclaim the greatness of God. At the end of the day, praise the Lord. 
Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. You know, we live in such confusing times and there's so many reasons to worry and so many reasons to complain and so many reasons to be frustrated. But God is in his sanctuary. He is in his mighty heavens. Praise him. Praise him according to his excellent goodness. Hey, would you praise the Lord not according to your situation, but according to his excellent goodness? Is that not amazing? Praise him with a trumpet sound and praise him with the lute and the harp. Praise him with a tambourine and dance. Praise him with strings and pipes. Praise him with sounding cymbals. Amen. Praise him with loud clashing cymbals if anybody's ever been in church when i was playing drums you know that's that is a favorite of mine let everything that has breath praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord with the arts are you a painter paint his goodness are you a poet man write a line about his goodness are you a dancer and dance before the lord the psalms are a call to love God, not just with our mind, but with our heart, with our emotions. Praise the Lord for the Psalter. Praise the Lord because he's in his excellent heavens. His excellent power is evident. And praise the Lord with your whole heart. May be love, Lighthouse.